Hey guys, what's up? How was your Easter? I hope it was good. I'm posting another video this week, uh, just for the heck of it, because I have one and I just want to give you guys some more content because I can, so I have it and I will. I decided to do a another video from the only series I've ever done and this is the second part so it's not really a series until now <laughs> but I meant for it to be a series my um, soda personification series I guess you could say <laughs> I had already done one previously where I personified coke and I drew coke coca-cola the soda as if she was a girl and it was like a very fun experience because it's more of a character design experience and I don't do a lot of character design. I don't really have my own characters. I used to, but I don't really have any anymore. If I draw or if I paint a character that I, I don't really think about the character that much. It's just what is aesthetically pleasing to me. So it's, it's a little different than uh, what I normally do because I have to think about it. and It's just a, a more in-depth process. So that's definitely what I wanted to do here. And that's what I did with my Coke girl. But if you look back to my Coke girl, uh, she is severely different than my Sprite girl, which is this girl. I should have probably said that, but you know, this is inspired by Sprite, <laughs> not Coke. <laughs> I already did Coke. In my Coke girl video, she isn't, it's not really a, a design. It's just like her face. It's a face shot. And I did design her outfit minus her shoes in my sketchbook and I showed you guys that. But it's not very detailed and it's not very well thought out. My experience with that was I just really based her on a specific look of a time period. Which I'm not really crazy about now that I look back at it. And the final piece was just her face, so I'm, I'm not too happy with that at the time I was. But it's not really a character design. Uh, it's just, it's not as polished as I would have liked, and it's very, it's very boring in my opinion. So for this Sprite Girl video, I wanted to switch it up, and I wanted to do more of a character design rather than just, oh well, here's a headshot of a girl that could is inspired slightly by a soda and I think I was a lot more successful I did do a couple pre sketches and then I transferred my sketch using graphite onto my watercolor paper and I completed it with my color choices and then additionally I did a small headshot it's much smaller than this piece we're looking at now but it's a headshot so that you can get more details of her face because, I mean, she's she's tiny. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, about her, I don't name these characters, she's just Sprite Girl, but I really uh, use the colors from the Sprite bottle to inspire her. And every time I've ever seen a Sprite commercial or anything like that, it's just so much fun. It's it looks like it's so much fun, so I wanted to make her like this fun, flirty, bubbly girl. And that's what I did. I gave her like a v-neck, flowy crop top, and a slightly high waist pleated skirt that goes, um, it's a mid-length skirt. And for her tank, I, um, what's it called when you tie it in the back? Hold on, I'm gonna remember. Since, uh, what is it called? A halter top. It's a halter top. So for the halter top, I used, I kept it white, and then I used the yellow, and I just splashed it across the front in a watercolory pattern. And I wanted it to kind of resemble the lemons, but not be like literal lemons on her shirt. I didn't want it to be too literal, <laughs> but I love. I love, I love how flirty that is, and then I think it pairs nicely with the uh, mid-length skirt, the pleated skirt, because I just took the colors, essential colors of the, your Sprite bottle, 
the blue and the green and they just gradient the same way they do in the logo. And then I gave her cute white sneakers and some pale yellow socks because I think of like a fun, you know, like just a fun girl. Like I don't think she'd be wearing heels or boots. I don't think she'd, she'd just want to have fun. And the best way to have fun, in my opinion, is to, you know, I don't know, go out dancing. She looks like she'd go out dancing or something. I know people don't dance anymore, more they club, I guess. I don't know. There might still be dance clubs. Yeah, clubs. It's club. It's clubbing. What am I saying? <laughs> She's definitely not going clubbing. <laughs> For sure, I love, 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 love um, the sneaker idea. I think it just looks cute and youthful with the skirt, and that's what I wanted. And then she has, like, a sleek... I wanted her to have sleek hair pulled back into a pony, a long ponytail, and that's what I did. She's got light blonde hair pulled back into a sleek ponytail. In retrospect, if I had done it again, I probably would have made that ponytail less wavy and more pin straight. That's just what I think about, but it looks more fun with the slight wave to it. So it's got a slight wave to it. And then on her face, like I just wanted to show you up close what her face is because it's kind of hard to see in this final piece because it's so small there's not a lot of detail so I wanted to it also looks a bit wonky so I did and she looks very youthful in the headshot and I like her scrunchie I would wear that scrunchie in a heartbeat so I think that overall my concept for this sprite girl is a fun, youthful, bubbly girl, slightly sun-kissed, who just loves to go out and have fun. And I think I accomplished that a lot better than I did in my Coke drawing, uh, my Coke personification. It was not nearly as thought out. It was just based on a time period and her design as a whole was not completely finished, just her headshot was. So I'm glad I did this. I think it's a step in the right direction, for sure. And I think I would definitely be open to doing more and getting more in depth with character design as I go on because I'm so new to it. I mean, the last time I did character design was like in middle school-ish and the character design was horrendous I, I don't know how to it was terrible so there's this which is definitely where I want to be going towards and I feel as though oh technically there are some mistakes in this uh, especially with the inking where her left her right arm it's her it's her right arm it's on our left side unless I flip this never one of her arms you can tell which one it is I totally messed up on the line work because I was inking it and I was overheating I had like on like three layers and it was like 70 degrees out I don't know what I was doing but <laughs> I guess I thought it was cold out but it wasn't um, I no justification for that anyway I was overheating and I wasn't really paying attention. I just wanted to get the inking done because I was uh, had somewhere to go. So, you know, mistakes happen and I just moved on with it because I I scrap some things. When I, when I make inking mistakes, I like to scrap the piece entirely, but I just wanted to move on and power through it because I think it's good to finish what you start and I'm gonna try finishing what I start even uh, especially after filming my last video my unfinished works video I think I, I want to start finishing what I start because there could be something worthwhile in what I started and the next one might not be exactly the same if that makes sense so thank you guys for watching if you really like this concept uh, let me know what soda that I should do next because I really only have planned to do Coke and Sprite, the two most popular sodas. So if you guys have a soda, let me know and I will 
try to do that. <laughs> I will definitely take a shot at that. Or if you guys have an art channel too, which I know a lot of you guys do, and you guys are so awesome, and I love all your stuff, <laughs> uh, I would love to see you guys do it. <laughs> It might not have to be the same set as I did, but I wouldn't care if it was. I'd, I'd just like to see like different interpretations, if that makes sense. So, thanks for watching. I'm pretty sure I already said that, but I'm going to say it one more time. And I hope you guys have a great night, or morning, or afternoon, or brunch, or whatever, really. Love you. Bye.